Hey everyone, so today is actually a different kind of clinical day because today I'm shadowing the chief CRNA of a level one trauma center. So I'm really excited to be with her. I've actually been with her all week and this is my last day with her. So I wanted to vlog and tell you guys about what I've been doing with her because it's very interesting. She has a great job role. There's a lot involved in being the chief CRNA on an administrative level as well as a clinical level. So I've been learning a lot from her. I'm gonna share it with you and take you along through my day. All right, I'm gonna get going. I have to meet her at nine. We have a meeting at 10 a.m. and I'm excited. Hey, I just got out of clinical or my leadership rotation and it's Friday so it's a really exciting day because I actually have the whole weekend off this weekend. If I look like I am hot and sweaty it's because I am. I'm still in my dress clothes and uh, my car AC has been broken all summer and I didn't get it fixed because I didn't really need it. But right now I feel like I need it because I have pants on and I'm dying. But it's okay. I had to shut the windows because it's really noisy over here on this boulevard and anything for the vlog, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm actually at the gym now. I just left the hospital. I need to pick up something from the gym and then I just need to run a few errands, pick up some stuff for dinner tonight and then I'm gonna head home. My leadership rotation was really great. I'm gonna tell you more about it when I'm not sweating to death and I'm gonna run in the gym, grab the check and I'll catch up with you. I figured while I was in the gym, I'm gonna show you guys our new dressing rooms because if you've been following me for a while, you've seen the gym in progress. And we finally got the last big thing that we wanted besides the shower. We got dressing rooms, so let me show you, they're really cool. There are two. Let me show you the blue one. This one's my favorite because the window's in here and it is blue. The light's up there. And there's some wooden benches we're probably gonna paint, but pretty good. I was about to leave and then I remembered I also haven't showed you guys our new desk. I haven't given you a tour of the gym in a while. We have an awesome new desk. It was custom built for us and it came out really good. I decided to come to the farmer's market. There's a market here called the Capital Market, which is here all the time during the summer. And then it kind of goes away when it's not summer, obviously. So I've been hitting it up as much as I can. So I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients for dinner that I already have at home from this market. They usually have really good produce, so I'm excited. Okay, I just want to show you guys what I end up getting from the farmer's market, and it's actually for dinner tonight and tomorrow. So I got a bunch of tomatoes, which will be for tomorrow's dinner. I'm making homemade tomato soup, and the garlic and onion are for that as well. I'm actually going to split those between tonight and tomorrow's dinner. I got a bunch of potatoes. Half are going to be for fries tonight, and half are going to be for the soup tomorrow. And tonight I'm actually making, here's a hint, jackfruit barbecue. So it's like kind of a vegan version of pulled pork. So it's gonna be barbecue jackfruit. I'm gonna show you how I cook that. It's really easy and it makes enough to last several days. So it's an awesome recipe. Make sure you stay tuned for that. It'll be a little later in the day. But until then, I'm gonna get changed out of these business clothes because I'm over it and then do some board review. So I'm still working on my board prep workbooks for my board prep class and I'm gonna do one of those. And hopefully I'll finish it today, but it's really long. It's about the autonomic nerve system. So I don't know if I will but I'll show you. I turned on the camera to show you guys the chaos that's going on in my house right now. And then the puppy decided to behave as soon as I turned on the camera. Oh, there we go. So we have Nyla here, who you guys know, and she should get her cast off on Monday, hopefully. We have Beamer, who's usually just chilling and behaving. And then we have Zara, who we're dog sitting. She used to be our foster dog and our friends adopted her. Look, she has one eye. She's so sweet. You might have seen her on my vlog before when we watched her. But Zara doesn't really like Nyla because Nyla's a roughhouser. So we opened up the cage for Zara and we've been keeping her in there. But all I hear all the time is dog whining and dog barking and dog whining. But it's okay, I'm not really complaining because I love the dogs. I wouldn't have it any other way. We would actually have four right now, but our foster, the Labradoodle, who you probably saw on Instagram, but not on this YouTube channel because we only had her for like a week and a half, went to rescue in Pennsylvania and she already has a bunch of people that want to adopt her. So we're super excited for her. She was a really sweet girl. 
and um, I was on Facebook yesterday and I saw a rescue that I follow posted and asked if anybody would foster a pig. It was a 25 pound pig and I wrote on there that yes, me and John would foster it. So we were about to have three dogs and a pig, but a rescue took the pig, thankfully, that has experience with pigs. I always wanted to foster a pig because I think they're such the animals and they're so smart and cute and they're like dogs, just smarter. So I know I will foster a pig eventually, but wasn't this week, unfortunately. We just have little furry dogs. I'm gonna stop rambling, get to my studying. I went ahead and put my gym clothes on. Oh, it looks like I don't have pants on. I do. I went ahead and put my gym clothes on because after I'm done studying, I'm gonna go for a run and do yoga by the river. And I'm gonna show you guys where I run because it's really pretty. I didn't really feel like going to the gym today because it's so nice out and summer's ended and it's fall, so it's gonna start getting cold soon. So I wanted to do my workout outside. But yeah, that's all we got going on. Oh, I have lunch. Let me show you what I have. I'm actually really excited about this lunch. So I wanna show you what it is. So first we have sauteed green beans with garlic and coconut oil. Then we have veggie meatballs. And then we have couscous. Can you see it under here? Some couscous. And then a tofu scramble with potatoes and zucchini from the farmer's market. All the produce is from the farmer's market. But it's really good, so I'm gonna eat that while I study. Gotta get that perfectly straight or else I can't focus or function. So I'm gonna show you guys how I study. I know you already know if you've seen my how I study on the iPad video, but how I'm doing my board prep is I'm doing the Apex workbooks for now. That's the first step that I'm doing. So I have the workbook. It's empty and you fill it out as you go. I have it pulled up on my iPad. You see I worked on half of this already and then I pull up Apex, which correlates with it on my computer and I just fill it out as I go through Apex here. So pretty simple. I just realized I didn't even tell you guys about my day with the chief CRNA or actually my week with her. Get down, Nyla. I'm gonna tell you while I'm eating my lunch before I start studying. So, well maybe I'm gonna tell you if Nyla can calm herself down. I have an idea. I'm back, I gave her something to play with. It was an old peanut butter jar. I spent the week with the chief CRNA of our hospital system and she's really awesome, so it was great insight and really nice to spend the week with her. So I did everything she did this week. So Monday we did the weekly Monday meetings, Tuesday we did some more meetings and Wednesday we did some more meetings. We also worked on a lot of initiatives during this time and did chart reviews and chart audits. And I'm gonna tell you about what we did today, which is Friday. The initiative that I was working on with my classmate Casey, who also had her leadership rotation with me. You guys know her, she went to the state meeting with me. She's like my best friend in my class. So we worked on conscious sedation protocol for the ICUs. There was already a protocol in place, but we matched it with CMS, which is the Medicare guidelines and made sure that everything is perfect. And then we did an A3, which is just like this big project you do. I don't know if they're called A3s everywhere, but where we are, they're called A3s. And it's basically like a practice project that you put into place and then evaluate how it's working over time. You put dates and goals and all that stuff. You also talk about how you're gonna educate. And we also did a meeting with the education representative for the hospital. So me, the chief CRNA, the education representative, and my other classmate met with them and talked about how things are going as students and like what kind of things we think we need. Do we need any more support? Things like that. So it was really cool to be a part of that and give our feedback. They are very inclusive here of advanced practice providers as well as students. So it's really awesome. And I had a great week. The chief CRNA job is really crazy. She's juggling so much stuff and she's super busy, but it was inspiring to be with her and we were glad to do it. Also, whoo, I shook the camera. I'm feeling a little rushed on everything I'm doing today. So if this is a little chaotic of a vlog and I seem like a little bit hyper more than normal, that's why, because I've just been running around all day. After we left clinical, actually Casey ran out of gas like a mile down the road. So after I got home, I went and got her and brought her to the gas station. We filled up her car. All right, I just noticed that I was supposed to be eating when I was talking on this um, thing about the chief CRNA, but I can't eat and talk at the same time. So now I'm going to eat and study and I'll catch up with you when I go on my run. disclosure, I'm filming on the GoPro, so if my audio and video quality aren't as great, that's why. I wanted to just talk to you guys for a minute about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and that is kind of like mindfulness and being grateful for what you have. 
So I find myself, because I'm always reaching for new goals, I have trouble enjoying the moment, seeing how far I've come. I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. And I just feel like I'm always chasing the next thing and I don't really celebrate or be grateful for the things I already have. So I was sitting in the gym the other day working out with John and I was thinking, wow, like we're here, I'm almost done with CRNA school, John's investing in real estate, flipping houses and doing all the stuff he wanted to do. We own a gym, which we always wanted to do. We're helping animals, which we always wanted to do. We're doing all the stuff that we're really excited about, but we both always feel like we're not doing enough and we kind of always feel like we're trying to do more. Or we're always setting more goals. Every time we reach a goal, we're setting a higher one. And it's just kind of becomes exhausting at a certain point. It's a good thing. I'm thankful that we're like that because we're driven, but sometimes you just need to slow down and be grateful for what you have. Just sometimes you need to slow down, think about what you have, be thankful for it and see how far you've come. So that's just my little pep talk for today because something I've been thinking about a lot lately and been trying to focus on. And now I'm going to meditate, trying to practice some mindfulness. I always meditate for five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night before I go to bed. In the morning, I try to do it right after I wake up. I'm not great at meditating. I have a lot of trouble clearing my mind and I always wander off into some thoughts or thinking about something that's not related to meditating. So it's something that I will keep working on. I really recommend that you try just adding this in. It only takes 10 minutes a day. Right now I'm gonna to try to do it here because I'm not at home. I'm kind of in a distracting environment and I think that it'll be harder here, so I wanna try it. All right, I cannot meditate. There are mosquito bites, so that was a major fail. I sat there for about not even a minute probably, and then I started getting attacked by mosquitoes and I'm not into that, so I went ahead and left. Anyway, this is my view still. It's pretty nice down here. It is dinner time. I'm gonna show you guys how to make barbecue jackfruit sandwiches. This is one of my new favorite meals that I have recently started making because it makes a lot of food. It's super easy, it's delicious, it's healthy. And yeah, that's about all that I have to say about that because I feel like those are reasons enough to make it. So I'm going to show you, John's not here to record me, so this might be a little interesting trying to figure out how to record it, but I'm going to list the ingredients and show you how to do it. See, I wasn't lying when I said this was easy. I'm just missing one ingredient here. So we have one onion cut up into pieces, and then we have some garlic. That's fresh garlic. I just sliced it up. We have two cans of young green jackfruit. Make sure you use young green jackfruit. That's a tongue twister if you're going to make this, because if you use ripe jackfruit it's too sweet so you have to use the young green unripe one in water we also have some barbecue sauce some olive oil just to prep the pan to saute the vegetables and then we have some water and now I'll show you what we do with it all so the first thing I'm gonna do is cook the onions on medium heat for about 10 minutes John's home so I'm gonna make him film me so I can show you what I'm doing while I'm waiting for the onions to saute yeah the they screen faces the wrong way so they, I have no idea what's happening they can't see them oh here <laughs> there oh now the light's gone it's okay guys yeah, don't oh, worry oh. Rihanna's cooking show, oh, we'll I save it. Everything. There we go, okay. So while the onions are sauteing, I forgot what I was doing, I'm going to slice the potatoes into French fry shapes. And what I'm makes a French fry French? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? You said yeah. You said it makes a French said, fry French. what makes French. a French fry French? Oh, I thought you were saying the shape does. Well, I don't know, but I made some. And I'm preheating the oven to 450. And I'm just gonna get all these ready and then I'll catch you up when it's time for step number two. Now I'm going to add the garlic. I'm not done with the potatoes yet, but it's time for the garlic, so I'm multitasking. While I finish slicing the potatoes, I'm just gonna let that garlic cook for a minute. I just added the rest of the ingredients to the jackfruit. So I added the jackfruit, obviously, and then I added the barbecue sauce and the water. But for the barbecue sauce and the water, I only added half of the water and about a third of the barbecue sauce. I don't really measure it. I would say it's about a half a cup of each. And then I'm gonna stir it up, cook it with the lid on for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna see what it looks like and see if I need to add any more. If I'm being completely honest, it doesn't really look good right now, but I promise that it will look good at the end. And the fries are ready to go in the oven. All I did was put them on this pan, spray them with a little olive oil spray. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna cook them at 450 for like 10 to 15 minutes. I don't really know how long it'll take. Nyla's being mischievous, trying to get up here and get the french fries. The last thing I need to prepare while the jackfruit is cooking and the fries are in the oven is the coleslaw that I like to put on top of the sandwiches. So you just need a bag of coleslaw mix or a head of cabbage. You can just cut it up, but since this was on sale, I just grabbed that. You need some vinegar, 
mayonnaise, mustard, salt, and pepper. Super easy. I kind of just guess at how much I put in there, but I'm gonna try to estimate as good as possible for you guys. So after I put everything in the bowl, I'm gonna show you how much of each thing I put in there. Okay, so here's the mixture before it's actually mixed. I put about a fourth a cup of mayonnaise, a half a tablespoon of mustard. I put a teaspoon of vinegar. Make sure you don't go overboard on the mustard or the vinegar because they're really strong and it could take over the whole taste of the coleslaw. And then I put pepper, just kind of a few sprinkles. And then I also put salt. I'd say I put about a teaspoon of salt in there and I'll add more if it needs it at the end. And this is what it looks like after it's all stirred up. But it just has a light coating of that mayonnaise mixture on it. While I'm waiting for everything to cook, I want to show you what kind of bread I use. So I use Dave's Killer Bread. I really like this bread, but I really want to get on Nurse Liz's level and make my own bread. If you don't follow her, you should. She's a nurse practitioner and she vlogs and documents on Instagram and YouTube and everything. Her life and life as a nurse practitioner and she just had a beautiful baby. She has another beautiful little girl and she does it all, so follow her. If you wanna look her up, her name is Nurse Liz on Instagram and YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's just Nurse Liz on there, but I'm gonna link it in the description below anyway, so you can just click on it and get to her page. And action. Now it is time to shred the jackfruit. This is the most important part because it makes it good for the sandwich. What is she doing? Nyla's trying to get on the counter to get a sandwich, and about five minutes ago, oh, now she's drinking water. About five minutes ago, she stole a whole piece of bread and ate it. Yep, see that? Okay, so we're shredding the jackfruit. If you want to get a close-up, you can show how easy it is. You just shred it with the fork, ignore the chaos in the background. Have you guys ever seen that terrible pet show? It's like really old where the guy has all the pets on the table. It's actually very unsafe for the animals, but he's like, oops, there goes the kitty. Oops, there goes the turtle. And it's just a mess. I feel like that's what my cooking show is. She'll put a screenshot of that right here. Yeah. Because you have to go watch it. I feel like it's not, I shouldn't be laughing because it's really not good for the animals, but it's really ridiculous. So I'm just going to shred all this up until it's all shredded. Should I say shred again? Say it one more time because I don't think they heard you. <laughs> it's all going to look like this, and then I'm just going to stir up and put it on the sandwiches, and I'll show you the finished product. Who is the, uh, the evil boss in the Ninja Turtle movie? What? Who is the evil boss, the, like the evil person in the Ninja Turtle movie? It's in re reference to what you were just saying. Shred? Close. Shredder. Master. Master shreds. <laughs> oh my god. What is it? Tell no. me. That's it. We're getting divorced. What is it? Just tell me. Master Shredder. Nobody wants to watch us argue about the Ninja Turtles movie for five minutes. Nobody wants to watch you be wrong about it. Show me your shirt. No. Nope. Give me a camera. No. Nope. I want to show you guys a shirt. You're really going to like it. Is it is it douchebaggy or no? Yeah, he's not allowed to wear it in public. <laughs> she only lets me wear it around the house. <laughs> God. You didn't plug your channel. I'm gonna do it later. You have really good tan lines on your arms too. Leave me alone. Give me this. Okay. So this is what was going on behind the scenes. Not Beamer. Beamer's good. This little monster that's over here eating the potato that she probably <laughs> stole off the counter spilled her water bottle and I don't think they can see it. Oh, they can see it. Either way, it's made a huge mess. This place is chaotic. Yes. So she is now for sale on eBay for a dollar with free shipping. Right, Nyla? Hey. Hey. She doesn't care. Dinner is ready. I'm going to go eat this now. Look how pretty it is. Look how good it looks. You have to try it and let me know what you think of it. I'm gonna end this video now since I've been vlogging all day and I think we're gonna watch the Avengers tonight. Other than that, I'm off this weekend, so don't know what we're gonna get into, but it'll be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that the chaos isn't bothering you too much. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next week.